So that was one of our all-time favorite fiddle songs. We know lots of fiddle tunes, but I think for both of us, that's probably one of our most favorite ones that we know. It's a love-hate relationship. I really love <laughs> the way it sounds, and I like playing it, but I wear out fast when I play it because yeah. it hurts my hand. It but is I kind do, of a I hard do. song to play. And the name of this tune is Growling Old Man, Grumbling Old Woman, which is kind of a funny name for a tune. And you learned this first. Where did you learn it from? YouTube. And then our good friend David Kaner, we've we talked about him a lot on the channel before, and we'll leave some links in the description to some videos that we filmed with him. But uh, he, he was a great friend of ours, a, a wonderful musician, and then he kind of helped you polish it up, right? Yeah. I had I could play one part, I could play the other part, but I couldn't put them together. It's like I somehow couldn't... That part was tricky. But once I got them together, then I had the whole song. And that's kind of the neat thing about this song and, and one of the reasons why it's my favorite is it's got like a two-part, a kind of an upper register and a lower register. And I think that's why it's called that growling old man. It's a call and response. Yeah, it's kind of a call and response tune. And didn't you used to joke and say that that was mom and dad? I'd always say, we're going to play this song <laughs> for mom and dad. <laughs> Just joking. They're my ride here. I rode with one of them. I'll, I'll have to walk <laughs> if I say too much about that. That is funny. And this time of year always kind of makes us think about our grandpa, which, of course, if you've been on the channel, you know that he is kind of the biggest source of inspiration for music in our life, and we grew up in a musical family. And he passed away in 2016, in April. And so this time of year, when that month starts to roll around in the spring, it always kind of makes us think about him, makes us get teary-eyed, makes us miss him, and think about the legacy of music that he left. And so there was actually very... Shortly before he passed away, there was two times that we played this song and we filmed it. It's here on the channel, but we're going to show it in this video here today. One of those times was of us standing outside his house, and that was maybe a month before he passed away or so. And then the next time we got to play with some of our friends, Liz and Lynn, and we were still at that time, I don't know, a little bit shaky on the song, maybe. And they were playing it with us, and they are really great musicians. They are a ball of fun to play with. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we were shaky or I was just, like, super excited. and Yeah, or intimidated. I was like, they, and the one interesting thing about this song is, is there's multiple different versions. So it's a really hard song to play, so I'm like, I've learned the only version I know how to play. And then if you take it and you go somewhere else and somebody plays it a little different... That might be a little bit of what was going on. It can be confusing to try to mesh up, mesh your version up with what someone else is doing. Because sometimes, seems like sometimes people will change and they'll do 1A, 1B, 1A, 1B, something like that. Seems like that might be what was going on. And then sometimes people play it, um, they will play the, if you're not playing it for a dance, you could do this. You could play the first part slow and the second part faster. And then when you come back around, go back to that slow speed. So that's also tricky. But Yeah. Which is interesting. Oh, it is interesting. There's ways to play it. And when we played with them, that was, that was like days before he passed away. So, I don't know. This song sort of in that time of year kind of makes us think about that. It makes me think about how sorely out of practice I am. I used to be able to play this song really fast and, and, <laughs> that and was multiple really times to me. all the way through. Like I could just keep. 
And then I play it once or twice and I'm like, my fingers hurt. <laughs> my fingers are slimming down. And there's actually one more song before we cut to these other video clips. There was actually another song, a Merle Haggard song. He passed away in April of 2016 as well. And three days before Pat did. Yeah. And I think that's I think. right. And we did a cover of his song, The Way I Am. And we put that out on, uh, I guess that would have been Monday, April 18th, this was of 2016. And then Pat died on a Tuesday, April 19th. 19th. Mm -hmm. So we'll leave a link in the description to all those songs. But we thought it would be interesting to just play this as we're thinking about Pat and especially to show these other versions because I like to think that we're better now. I don't know. But we hope that you'll enjoy this footage. It's grainy. It's not the best footage. It's old. <laughs> it's old. But we hope that you'll enjoy it and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>